today. And I have something planned that could either be a total disaster or super awesome. Sometimes I scroll through Craigslist and just look for useless crap that might be something cool for me. I am a big fan of one man's trash is another man's treasure. And boy, do I think I found a treasure, but we shall see. I found a listing for this electric wheelchair for a hundred bucks. They said that it's not running at the moment, but usually I know that has to do with the battery. I figured I'd get it and take my shot, and I bought new batteries, which cost about 60 bucks. I got two batteries. That adds to the cost. Now it's been charging, and we just have to see if it'll even run. Miss Andrea is gonna help me out, and her conehead dog. Hey, conehead. Hi. Okay, let's unplug it. All the screws in the front are stripped. This shouldn't even hold a person, which is why I have it and not someone who particularly needs it. Okay. Turn right. Oh, we run it. Watch out, Harvey. Watch out. I'm gonna fly. Oh! <laughs> Since the chair is so sketch, we are gonna get rid of this chair and we're gonna replace it with something totally awesome. You probably already saw it in the thumbnail or title, whatever I did with this. But we are using this to make a motorized couch. This is the controller right here. So the first thing I gotta do is remove it from this seat. I cut a hole through the bottom of the couch and the control is now right here through the couch. It is really high, stand next to it just like so high. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Seems like it's leaning really far forward. <laughs> I feel like this thing is about to collapse. <laughs> it's just giggling. It's just so relaxed. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> what happened? Oh no! The whole metal bar bent and snapped. Bend and snap. <laughs> that was really not the part that I was expecting to give out. Oh no! I know it's hard to tell because there's no windows down here, but we are into a new day because it was pretty <laughs> late when we failed last night. Oh, it was, it was like 12. Yeah. Um, we have the couch off now, and let me show you what happened exactly. So the only thing that really failed was this front one, and we know the reason why. When we first tried to drill the holes through, we failed. We turned it over and tried again. So we actually have holes on the side here which compromise the structural integrity of these beams, like significantly. I'm so scientific. <laughs> structural integrity. But also, we had it too far forward, so we're also gonna back it up. We're gonna back the couch up, and we got some stronger beams, too. We originally went with the aluminum beams because it's lighter and we don't wanna to put too much weight, but even though it is our fault for putting the extra holes and that's why it broke, just in case to make it a little stronger, we decided to upgrade to steel. We're gonna to have to put holes through the steel, which is gonna be much harder, but um, we have a tool to help us with that. Most people do work in their garage, a shed, or even just anywhere outside. Uh, we just happen to choose to do it in the kitchen. <laughs> Much cleaner today than <laughs> what we did yesterday, which I wish you actually just saw the holes from trying to use like a hand drill <laughs> into there rather than a drill press. We saw new notches to make this 
sit farther back. Let's do this. Since we move the couch forward now, when you accelerate, I'm worried that it'll put a lot of weight on the back, which doesn't have the support. So I added one final touch. I added these eight inch casters and put a support cross beam so that they won't bend in or break. So hopefully that works. I believe the motorized couch is now complete, but before we take it out of the town, I want to tell you guys something I'm doing on Monday that's really cool that you guys will be a part of and we could actually chat one-on-one -on -one or four-on-one, -on -one. I'll show you what I mean. You guys have seen me do vlogs on like Omega where I get to talk to you guys personally on the blog. Well, this, this is better. Check out this app called Uptime. Now you can see me and my camera. Hello, Fuzzy. It's pretty much like FaceTime except on steroids and I'll show you why. I'm going to invite friends, but instead, uh, Kyle and Andrea are back that way. So you guys enter my party code, J V. Seven seven four. Can I join it? Kyle's joining. Andrea, did you put it in? Oh, there's Andrea. Whoa! Let me turn my volume down so that I don't ruin the. Uh... There we go. You guys can invite as many of your friends as you want. The cool thing is, I can now go to pick a video, and you can watch, of course, one of my videos. There we go. She lasered her what? We could all watch my video together. You could also go to your photos and share any picture you want with your friends. You could also click on the pizza button if you want to see how to earn a free pizza, which is pretty cool. Now here's where it gets really cool. On Monday, from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, if you go on, invite your friends, and you guys watch one of my videos during that time, or as many videos of mine as you want, I will get to see that, and I, I'm going to crash some of your parties and come watch them with you, hang out with you guys. I just think this is a really fun way to be able to connect with you guys. So, download the Uptime app. I'm gonna put a link in the description. And make sure you comment your party code in the comments. And then on Monday, between 3 p.m. and 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, I'm gonna hop in and we'll do, we're gonna make this into a cool vlog. So I'm gonna vlog it and I'm gonna come in and watch some of, I guess, my own videos with you guys, and you guys can ask me whatever you want. We could all hang out. Now let's go ride the couch. That is an ultra success right there, and I had so much fun. I'm thinking it, it sparks so many ideas. Like, what about going through a drive-thru? What about hooking on a TV and playing some video games on the go? I don't know. We can come up with some ideas. You guys can let me know if you have some ideas. But just to remind you again, on Monday from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, I'm gonna be chatting with you live on Uptime. So make sure do not forget to comment with your party code down below in the comment section. The information for the app is in the description. That is all I got for you for today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I will see you guys again soon. Goodbye.